Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the widgets and the wallpapers basically. So let's jump into it. Uh, to go along with the written tutorial, we'll start with widget locker. This is how it's going to look when we're done. Let me just remove these. Oops, not edit. Sorry about that. Okay, now go ahead and select your wallpaper by, um, sorry, by clicking the little white settings icon up at the top. And go into look and feel, alternative wallpaper selected, select wallpaper. Now pick it from wherever you have uh, placed your wallpapers for this thing. And back on the screen, you're going to go ahead and select the middle of the screen and long press and add a widget. We're going to do a ultimate custom widget 4x4. Four four. And scroll down and you'll see three pre-made battery gauge with info center in the middle. I've got calls, email, SMS. I'll show you just, we'll just select calls since it's first. Now you got to touch there and do a long press on it. And a little menu pops up and says resize. So just pull these tangent handles out to the side all the way across the screen. And it fits over there like that. Now to add a clock is the same way except for the widget size for the clock is a 5 by 2. And it's down at the bottom and it's the Ubuntu lock clock. Uh, don't get it confused with the home clock. I guess you could use the home clock on the lock screen if you want. Well, there we go. Now just uh, resize this guy, get him placed properly. Bring the tangent handles all the way across the screen again. And if you want it to be huge, I guess you could uh, resize it maybe. Nope, doesn't grow. Doesn't blow up too big. Okay. And now for the tap to unlock, you're going to long press down at the bottom and select custom slider. And just stick with this default one by grabbing the handles and sliding them over. Brings up these dialogs here. Disable them. Go ahead and do that for the other one. Like disabled. Now here in the center, it's a tap. It's a tap target instead of a slide target. So you're going to choose widget locker actions, unlock, and then go over to the icon and go back to your Ubuntu G files and find the lock. Select OK, and then up at the top left, hit done, and you're good. You can now this one does blow up if you resize it. So if you want it to be huge, you can resize it. Uh, I like mine to be little. Tap to unlock. Okay, so there's the widget locker setup. Now back on the home screens, you can see that I will select the, the first screen right there. <coughs> now uh, for if you have a menu key, hit menu, go wallpaper. If not, do a long press and select wallpapers. Go to Live Walls, scroll till you see Multi Picture Live Wallpaper. And down at the bottom, go to Settings and add three individual settings for page one, two, and three. I'll have pages four and five done and ready to send to you guys here probably within a couple days. I gotta get some other work done though before I do that. Now for screen one, you're gonna go <coughs> Picture Source as a single picture. Go to your Ubuntu G folder and select the one with the dock overlay. If you're using a file explorer, it uh, will say plain screen one, Ubuntu uh, home screen one. And go back. Screen two settings, picture source, single picture, same thing, screen two. which is going to be this one right here. And screen three, so on and so forth. Single picture, uploads, and bam, right there. Now, you're going to have to scroll down because there is a workaround for some home applications. Now, let's see. Let's go back and set this as our wallpaper and see what happens. Okay, that looks okay. Yeah, it looks like it works. Okay. If it doesn't work for you, there's the, the workaround for some uh, home launchers. 
sometimes it sometimes I have to set it sometimes I don't it's a little wonky I guess but I'm gonna go transition type to none now you have to pull that up at first it starts out you can't see none so you have to actually slide down and it pulls it down for you so. and go uncheck show reflection double tap to change picture we don't need any of these extra settings going around here is the screen or the, the, the picker for what kind of uh, screens you have. Usually I have to select force five screens, but uh, uh, right now it looks like ignore vertical movements, the one that's selected. So yeah, that is all for the multi-picture live wallpaper settings. And when you go back without the, without the transitions, with Apex Launcher transitions removed and uh, the wallpaper transitions removed, the dock kind of pops up right there when you swipe. So it's sort of similar to how the Ubuntu phone works. Um, real quick, I'll show you how to, this is the main screen right here. This is what we call screen two. We'll add a widget, which will be an ultimate custom clock five by two. Go ahead and let it create the widget. <coughs> and the home clock right there bam touch it resize it now it looks like I need to go into the settings so go into ultimate custom clock widget by tapping on the clock itself don't long press just tap and hit menu settings uh, we're going to use it in Fahrenheit for me because I'm Fahrenheit and go to your location settings and do auto location. If it says location not available, go into manual. I'll set mine real quick. City, state, country. Let's see, I'll spell it out. Okay. And let's see. And you can go you can change all types of settings like when it starts to get dark, when you know when the sun comes up, whatever. And there's this force widget update setting that will update your widgets while your screen is off. I don't recommend having that checked for this particular theme since it's already a RAM heavy, memory heavy, uh, resource heavy theme. But battery life, it's up to you. I mean you can select it if you want. Okay. Now I've I said in the written tutorial to place your shortcuts. It's it's really up to you how you do it. But I'll show you how I do one of them real quick. I'll show you how to set up the camera with desktop visualizer, which is oh, which I don't have. I'll just show you how to do it with UCCW then. <laughs> do a one by one. <clears throat> uh, create a new one, and then open it up. And you can change the alpha of the background all the way to zero to make it invisible. And then you go to select object up here at the top and hotspots. And then you want to go down here, see where see where this uh, first hotspot is. They're all different colors. So for this one, I like to use number 15 because it's got a nice almost Ubuntu orange thing going on. So we'll get rid of the first one and we'll use number 15 right here. Now to set the target is you just tap hotspot. Now if for the camera we'll choose app and just scroll. Oh it looks like camera looks like camera's not available for the Galaxy S2 on UCCW. So that's kind of one of the reasons I use desktop visualizer because some activities are just not available uh, through UCCW and pretty much any app you have installed is going to work with uh, desktop visualizer. So um, I can just set it to go to gallery for now and I can get to the gallery from my or the camera from the gallery. And from here you want to hit your menu again and go to hotspots mode and oops and select on and it'll take you back to your home screen and once that toast goes away, it's good to go. So just go ahead and, whoops, 
Where'd you go? That's a, there it is. Slide it back over. Okay, now just tap it and it will hopefully. Where is it? Oh, okay. Let's get it resized over the camera. And what in the heck is going on? Oh, I must have set the hotspot one to be the camera. My bad. Um, turn hotspot mode off by going to your app drawer and finding UCCW. Turn it off. Takes you back to the app drawer. Let's see. Go back to hotspot. Sorry, I'm going to go fast and fix this real quick. Hotspot number 15. Hmm. Gallery. What the heck? Why is it not working? Select that one, maybe. Turn hotspot mode back on. There we go. And I'll take you to the gallery, and from there I can get to my camera. But whatever. Okay, so that is that. Now, to add the app drawer, just touch over the all apps, like the Apex app and Action Star. Up, and then it. Now, don't worry, it, it it's at the at the base of it, uh, where it says press that bad boy, select app. Oh wow, my phone's starting to really slow down. And tap the icon and select picture pictures where I've got the blank it's like okay. and then do another one right over here in this area so you can kinda have them both there see now when you tap right there oh son of a bitch there you go I also have the swipe up gesture so if you can see the cursor there it's swiping up goes to the drawer. Anyway, now if you know how to use Tasker and Minimalistic Text, here's how to do the message widget. Go to Minimalistic Text and add a 4x1 and scroll all the way there and restore the recent SMS. That's as long, that's as, long as you have the profile modified to fit your needs for your device inside Tasker. Like I said, I'll have another tutorial for that uh, later on. I'll go resize. It looks like I haven't had... Oh, wait, that's the different one. That was for another theme. Da -da -da. Three by one, whatever. Let's just show you how this is done. Store... Run to SMS. There we go. Yes, do it. Okay. And I haven't had any text messages since I flashed this ROM. So, your recent messages will pop up there, though. Trust me. <clears throat> now, just add a, you know, clock, boom, to the top. Do your shortcuts. Do your shortcuts here and there. There, 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 there. <laughs> and the running applications, that's just another Apex action. Scroll down. Recent apps is what it's called. And then edit it the same way with the blank icon. And that's it. I am working on pages four and five uh, as we speak, though. And uh, those will be done. I don't know. <laughs> when they're done, they'll be done. Also, expect uh, updates to minimal icons if you use those. Uh, because I made some new ones for just for this theme. And I'm going to go ahead and update that icon pack with those. So, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoy the theme. And I hope you. Uh, show me what you did to it. That's why I included the PSD files and also the Illustrator file in case you want to get crazy with the battery gauge. If you're into Illustrator, go ahead and, and do all that. And uh, yeah, just be sure and link me to what you come up with. Thanks for watching.